Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got some completions to show you and I've got a lovely package to unbox from fansouls.com. Yay! Uh, they asked me if I would like some more products to show on my channel. I said yes, of course. Love fansouls. Uh, they were the first company that I bulk bought diamond paintings from way back when. And uh, yeah, this is a completion from uh, the items I got from the last package that they sent me. So we have, these are the like plate stands, the coasters for your table. And I thought you might like to have a look at them. They are part of Smashing the Specials, number seven. I'm just going to put this package on one side for the moment, just to keep you guessing a little bit longer. But yeah, I thought you might like to see that these are now all completed. And look how lovely and sparkly they are. And they've got hot pink, so they've got to be a Liz unboxing. That looks like a heart there. Look, I think it's supposed to be a petal, but I said, oh, look, I've got a heart on my coaster. And my husband went, oh. <laughs> I am going to get some cork for the back of these as well, because I do want to have a little bit more protection on my table. Um, I'm sure just having the wood and having the gems is going to be enough. These do need sealing. I've not sealed them yet. There is a little bit of tacky around the edge uh, where the glue's been placed, uh, just slightly over the edges for the gems, which is fairly standard on most sort of special drill projects. Uh, so, yeah, I will need to seal them and that will also level them out that little bit as well. So we've got that one, which has got the bigger sort of petal flower in the middle. And they're all like these gorgeous lilies. As I say, this one's got heart on the side. This one's a beautiful big white lily in the middle. Actually, that's going to be a lily that's not opened yet, isn't it? I think. Not quite sure. I'm not really, really up on my flowers. As I say, flowers is a fairly new concept to me to do because I'm always usually cute and cuddly, not flowers and things. But must be old age setting in. And no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say old age. What I'm going to say, what can I say? It's because it's sparkly and it's got hot pink in it. <laughs> So I'm just drawn to anything sparkly. But yeah, they've come out really well. They diamond painted like a dream. What I did was um, I did all of the white backgrounds first, the standard uh, white background. And then I put all the sparkle on afterwards. And yeah, it took me... Did I do them in an evening? I think I did them in an evening. You know, I just started um, more or less. I mean, it was quite a longish evening because we were binge watching a box set while I was doing them. Uh, yeah, so they, you know, took a few hours, but it was definitely worth it. I thoroughly enjoyed doing them. Oh, that one's just moved slightly, look, as I've been moving them. So that's another reason, really, why if you're going to be handling any of your diamond painting projects, uh, you do really need to put a sealer on top of them just to stop those gems moving. They will stick. They're not going to come off, you know, but uh, if you do start catching something on them or put pressure on them, then uh, they can move slightly. So, yeah, it's always worth sealing them. And then finally, I think this is my favourite one because it's got more hot pink on it than the others. And it's just got more of the uh, pink lilies on it. And then your vases at the bottom. But, yeah, I think that lime green crystal just really makes everything else stand out and pop. I think gorgeous. So, really, really enjoyed doing these. Now, what was the size of these? Let me give them a quick measure. So they're about six and a quarter inches, which is about just under 16 centimetres. So yeah, they're fairly, all right. They are a smaller size than some of the great big mats that you get that really take over the whole table. Um, if you've only got a smallish table, I find that if you get these really big mats, then you're all sort of like crushed up together and your mats are all touching and I don't like that. Whereas something like this lifts your plates off your table without encroaching on anybody else. Uh, it does come with a stand as well. The full unboxing is in my fan cells playlist if you go and have a look at that. So you've got your stand to put them all in as well. So that's quite pretty. I mean, to be fair, if you buy some of those... Um, if you buy some of these little stamps, you can get these from all over the place. Just a little plate stand. You could actually just display them. We've got a really old fashioned sideboard and actually it's got like a, a shelf 
um, where the mirror is and these would look quite nice lined up actually as a plate rather than using them as uh, like a large cut or a placemat so yeah you've got choices or even pop pop them on the wall you know use a command strip or something and have them uh, on a wall or if you've got a picture rack a picture rail around your room you could use them for that as well lots of different styles in these now, now lots of new ones coming out which look absolutely fantastic so yeah you could always get a set of a few but i will be using these because i do need some coasters uh, first and foremost one will be going next to hubby um because he tends to eat his tea on his knee but he likes to leave it a few minutes before he starts eating it. So he puts it on the on the um, like little cupboard thing next to him. So I want a nice size placemat so that when he puts his hot plate down on there to cool off, it's not going to ruin my furniture. <laughs> uh, plenty of gems left over. No fear of running out of anything. Okay, uh, we've got standard white and standard crystal, which will go in my white and crystal jars. There was no um, crystal codes or DMC codes or anything on these. So these will all go into my generic crystals, hot pink, loving hot pink. So yeah, there was a nice array of nine different crystals and uh, just your one standard white acrylic gem there. So yeah, there was uh, plenty there. Okay. So let me just pop those on one side. Now then, somebody did actually say to me, well, they're not big enough um, and your plate will fall off them. So I thought we'd do a little bit of an experiment. I know this is an unboxing um, and maybe I sh I know this is an unboxing, but I thought I'm just going to have a play with this to start off with. So this is sort of like a standard side plate that I've got. Um, I'm putting a side plate on it. It's you know not going to go anywhere unless you really, really slam down on it and it's going to come off. So good for a side plate. OK, uh, these are our pasta bowls. Can you tell? Look, it's a definite me. Um, yeah, I've got the little bees on it. Look, all... <laughs> this is our set. <laughs> I'm showing you our crockery, aren't I? <laughs> so this is my pasta bowl and this is a large pasta bowl. And that's standing on it, so that's not going anywhere. That's, you know, you're really going to have to really slam down with a lot of weight on that. Which, to be fair, even if you had a bigger um, placemat and you, you hit it there, it would still fall over. So that's okay. So let's try the dinner plate. Now then, this has got a round in the middle, like there. These are very big plates. What size are these? Are these 12 inches? I know you can get lots of different sizes of plates. This, oh, actually, it's a 10 and a quarter inch plate, which is 26 centimetres. So as I say, these are big dinner plates. You can get the bigger ones and I know you can get the oval ones as well. We don't have oval ones. So let's have a look. That actually fits in there. So actually, that's not going to be too bad because that is still lifting it away from that rim. And if I put the cork backing on, then that's going to lift it slightly more as well. Okay, so that is a little bit wobbly, but I think yeah. once that's sealed, that's going to level itself out a bit. And once it's got the cock back in on, it's going nowhere. So I think that's, you're still not going to be able to tip that over. Okay, I'll seal them. And then once I've sealed them and it's dry, we'll try this plate again. But I do like to try things. And thank you for asking the question, because you ask me questions on things that I haven't thought about. So it's always worth trying. I've now got Millie looking at me because I've got dinner plates out and she's wondering why I've brought dinner plates into the bedroom because normally she gets to have a look at the plates to see if there's anything left over. If you've got gravy on your plate, you've had it. <laughs> okay, so I am really pleased with these. I think for the price, they're at really good value as well. And I've enjoyed doing them. And when somebody says, oh, I like your placemats, I can say, I did them. <laughs> Which is always a bonus. Okay, and I do like things that stack away neatly. I might have to get another set, actually, so that I've got a set of eight. Uh, yeah, okay. So let's pop those on one side and let's see what we got in our package this time. Okay, so we have a diamond painting. We have a dinky little doodah. You know how much I like my dinky little doodahs. <gasps> we have some trays, new style trays. Yay! And they were in two different lots, so I had to get one of each, of course. 
And then we have a box. Yay! <laughs> okay, so the box has got a little bit squished, but that is fine because that's what boxes are for. Boxes uh, are there to protect what's ever inside. So as long as what's inside okay, it doesn't matter that the box just gets that little bit squished. Okay, they've come a long way. Right, what shall we look at first? Let's have a look at these trays. Look at these in this gorgeous deep purple. Loving it. We'll put that one on one side as well. So these are two new style of trays. Um, you've seen the ones that have these smaller trays inside. Well, these are sectioned out. So we've got a large tray with two sort of medium trays in and then a large tray with three a little bit smaller trays in. So let's get them open and have a look. All the details I'll pop down below as well. Uh, there is a special offer on at Fan Cells at the moment. If you spend £30, you get a free gift. So if you're near your £30, it might be worth just going and having a look at the tools and bits and adding something on to make up your £30 to get your free gift. Okay, and the price of these is absolutely excellent. Um, this set with this set of three is two pounds and 77 pence wow that tray is excellent look at the size of that tray that might even be a list proof tray to stop me spilling stuff <laughs> no is any tray that good possibly and then the one with the three smaller trays inside and the large tray again uh, this one was three pound 24 so what's that five so for about six pound, I've got two, four, six, seven trays, which is excellent value. So less than a pound a tray. Okay. Oh, wow. And I just love this deep purple colour. So let's have a look at the big one first. It's got a ridge on the bottom, so it just raises it up slightly. Lovely and smooth. We've got all the ridges going along there. And then it just has this little funnel part at the corner and you can just put all your gems to the end and the tip out and it's, it's not, not got any of your uh, ridges there so they can all collect and just go into your tray and then you've got two slightly smaller sizes so again again they've got just the little end there so you can tip your gems out which is always handy you know rather than having to get them into the corner you know if you can just get them all into one corner and you've just got your little end there and it's a good size as well so if you're doing specials and you've got some larger size gems then they will still go through these openings i know sometimes you get openings on trays and the gems don't come out you know you get your special rounds and things and your marquees and the, they don't go through the holes um, but these have got quite good corners so you can always for your really large gems collect them in the corner at the other side to just tip and then they do fit nicely so when you've finished using them you can just pop them away or you could use it if you're doing two colours at once you can put your two colours in and uh, yeah just work from two colours I know whilst I was doing these um, you know it would have been hand to have the different colours uh, in different trays so then you can just dip and do one and then do the other uh, rather than doing one putting it on one side doing all the next one and uh, doing things that way so that's uh, yeah I'm really uh, liking these I like the smaller ones but I do like the fact that you've got the choice now of having some bigger trays as well and this is still a good size tray for just doing your normal diamond painting paintings ah sorry it's smashing the specials at the moment so my brain is just on big gems and sparkly gems and lots of color <laughs> and there's this big tray is enormous so yeah if you've got some really uh, a huge amount of gems that you're wanting to work through then this is great and they're not really heavy either sometimes you get trays um and they're a bit heavy and by the time you get the diamonds in if you've got any wrist problems then uh, they can get a little bit weighty but this is a really nice light tray to start off with so when you get your gems in you still if you like me I tend to hold my trays I know some people put them flat on the desk and work from them but I tend to work from them actually holding my tray and that's quite a nice tray to hold as well mm, okay let's do some quick measurements right, where's 
naughty dog i can never find my tape measures so the size of the large tray is just slightly over seven inches which is 18 centimeters wow that's a really big tray uh, and then we are 12 and a half centimeters which is just slightly under five inches so really good and then the depth of this tray um about two and a quarter ish centimeters so just under an inch in depth on that one so that is great that is really good and to be fair actually i wonder if the diamond painting pens will fit in it let me have a look oh look at that yeah I'll grab a different pen oh yes yeah, so your diamond painting pens will fit in these so you could put your pens in there so they don't roll off your desk <laughs> if you get one of those little sticky mats to put underneath then uh, yeah you're fairly secure there and then you can work from your two colors of gems excellent loving that okay so just pop that back there so that's really useful really useful tray mm. my brain's going at like 30 to the dozen now thinking oh all different things i can do with these right so let's give these a quick measure so the two trays that go inside are uh, just over 12 centimeters and that is four and three quarter inches by just slightly under eight centimeters which is about three and a quarter inches and then the depth i know i'm measuring the side of the tray maybe i should measure inside but there's not that much bigger base on these uh so that's about just over half an inch which is one and a half centimeters so yeah nice size good size for putting your gems in and uh, picking them up and them not catching on the side and dropping off which i do on some trays that i use and again a good uh, size for shaking and very light as well so loving those okay i do like new tools and new things and they lock in place as well look once you've put them in wherever you put them in because of the base on them and the ridges on the bottom they actually stay in place Ooh, nice right so the large tray on this one will be exactly the same it's the same tray yeah exactly the same tray so we've measured that so let's measure these three smaller ones what i tend to use uh, smaller trays for is if you've got a canvas that's a lot of confetti then it's quite nice to have all of the colors out use your main color use your main tray for the main color that you're doing but then as you come across one of the confetti colors that there's just one in the middle of a great big sea of something else you can just have your trays to just dip in and put that one in rather than coming back to it later on it also then stops you missing gems you know when you get to the end of your painting you think yeah i've finished and then you look at it through you know you pick it up and look at it up against the window and you think oh i've missed one there and i've missed one there and i've missed one there just me maybe <laughs> okay so the size of this one again is four and three quarter inches 12 centimeters but these are just that little bit uh, thinner so this is six centimeters uh just over two and a half inches so just that little bit smaller and as i say you get the three so you just pop your three trays in oops and you just got to make sure that when you put that one in put that one in first because it's got to go underneath the little overlap there your little spout part and they just all slot in and i've got to put them all the right way because my brain won't let me do anything else so yeah and then they are all firmly in they're not uh, unless you tip it right upside down they're not going anywhere but yeah they did come in several different colors as well but i think for the price these are great loving those and do they stack do they stack not really you can put them on top of each other they don't particularly there's nothing sort of like keeps them in place to stack them but you could put them on one on top of one another so yeah i mean if you've got a canvas that's maybe got uh i don't know 14 colors you could get two lots of trays and then you've got uh, each color in each tray mm. liking those so that was something new you know me i always like to be on the lookout for anything new anything a bit different and they are just uh, 
yeah, I just can't get over this purple. I'm loving this purple. It's a shame they're not hot pink, but never mind. Okay, right. The next stinky little doodah that I got is uh, something, yeah, that I've just had to go hunting for. And it's a little tape measure. And I thought, oh, they're selling tape measure. It's excellent. And the price of this was only 65 pence. So I thought, oh, well, it's worth just adding into my basket. So, yay. We are inches on one side and centimetres on the other. And it's one of those, look. You pull it out and you press the button and it goes back in. <laughs> it's like a fidget toy. <laughs> I can play with this all day. So, yeah, excellent value. It goes up to 55 inches, which is a 140 centimetres. So, plenty of measuring it. it Plenty of measuring for your diamond paintings and things and your unboxings. So now I've got Scotty tape measure. So if Scotty goes for a walk and I can't find it, I've now got a new one. <laughs> and this one does lock as well. So it's not one of those that you pull it out and then it goes whoosh, back in again and takes your fingers off. As you pull it out, if you pull it out slowly, it does actually lock in place, which is even better. And then it just press the button. Whoop. <laughs> it's gone <laughs> okay so that's all my little projects right so what shall we look at next let's look at the diamond painting i'm going to keep you guessing what's in the box <laughs> right okay so as i say we are on smashing the specials so i am concentrating on special drills at the moment and this is one of the new ones that came out. Let me just move you out the way, Trace, so we can get this gorgeous painting on the desk. Look at that. And when I saw it, I thought, oh, that is so special and pretty. Okay. So, Pembo and Wax, your standard little toolkit. Oh, I've got the uh, little bit of plastic there. Yes, thank you very much. Sending him here your rubbish. <laughs> And let's give this a flatten. So I thought this is such a useful painting to have because you know me, I don't just use diamond paintings as pictures to go on walls. I use them to make cards and as gifts as well. And my nephew has just recently got married and I did think that this thing that this would have made a fantastic either wedding present or a nice uh, wedding card it's 30 by 30 centimeters so you know you would have to make a larger card to put this on but for weddings and things you do tend to like to get something that's a little bit more of a keepsake but what i'm intending doing and um, i do have some peel off sticker letters is putting their names and the date that they got married up here because there's a lovely space here blank space and then putting this in a frame and we've got the lovely champagne bottle to celebrate their marriage and two glasses so i just thought this is a wonderful sort of wedding present wedding keepsake so hopefully i'll get this one done for the next time they come to visit and then they can have this as like a little present just to put on the wall or not um, maybe it might be one of those things that they'll just hang up when they know that Auntie Lizzie's coming. <laughs> no, only kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought, yeah, I'm loving this. And there's lots of different ones as well, different colours. And they've also got some um, of the champagne with just a single glass. So if you're wanting it for, say, like an 18th or a 21st or anything like that, then they're just more of a sort of card present gift you know if they ever i mean my nephew actually said he didn't want any presents whatsoever they've been uh, living together for quite a while so they said they've got everything they need they don't want any presents um but you do like to gift people things don't you you know uh, you just like to sort of like show your love um, and help them celebrate. And I just thought something like this just uh, is a little bit personalised and a little bit special. I mean, to be honest, thinking about it, if you've got um, a wedding album, your wedding photograph albums, do people still have added photograph albums? I presume they do for weddings. That, because you tend to find that wedding albums are square, or they always were. Mine is. <laughs> 
then that would be quite nice as a cover for the wedding album, wouldn't it? So you see, if it's got a plastic sleeve that you can slip it into, then that's wonderful because then it's covered over and you don't need to worry. But I mean, because this is a present, I tend to, if the presents for people, seal them anyway. So I would seal this one and it could actually then be stuck onto the front of the album. And again, with their name and their date of the wedding, uh, the names and the date of the wedding on there, then that would look fantastic. That is a really good idea. A cover for a wedding photograph album. Yay. Or even, uh, I know one of the things that people tend to do now is have like a guest book or a memory book so people can, you know, just write little comments and everything in a book as they're coming into the wedding or going out or hopefully after they've not had too many of the champagne drinks. <laughs> just to leave um, some good wishes for the happy couple. That could go on the front of there as well. Oh, that's so versatile. I'm loving this. And the price of this is only £3.49. So that's really, really good value for money. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you'd if you bought a card that was that size with all those crystals on it, you'd pay a lot more than £3.49 for it. So, yeah. And you could even buy like a plain album rather than having to buy a really expensive um, wedding album and put this on the cover. And then it looks like an expensive wedding album and you've not spent all the money on it. You see, I, I'm a crafter. I tend to like to be thrifty. And you know me, I don't like spending full price on anything. <laughs> just needs a little bit of a flatten out under something heavy. It's just got a little bit creased with being wrapped around the gems on its journey um, or you can iron the back of it as well so yeah I mean it says oh let's use our new tape measure don't be reaching for Scotty let's use our new one now that we've got it so it says it's 30 by 30 but I think the actual size this is 24 centimeters which is nine and a half inches by yeah 24 centimeters nine and a half inches oh I love that <laughs> right so it is where are we six seven eight nine ten eleven different gems and colors there are no gem codes unfortunately on the canvas and it doesn't look like we've got any on uh, here as well so this will just be a generic kitting down it won't be one that i'll be able to match up um to put away in my store to put in my crystal storage but i will still be able to store all my specials and i can see a hot pink yay <laughs> okay let's get into these and have a look oh lots of specials so because we've got a lovely bottle of champagne We've got a champagne gold crystal and a hot pink crystal. Yay. And then like, oh, a little bit of like a sea green. That one, that's gorgeous. And your standard crystal, your standard silver crystal. And we've got an AB. That's an Aurora Borealis where you get a standard, in this case, yellow gem. And it's got an iridescent coating over the top. So it sparkles a little bit more and a lovely green colour, grassy green. And then we've got semispheres in your red, so that's a, a gem with no facets on. We've got a pale green with an iridescent coating on in your marquees. Oh, we've got fire red there, a little a bit smaller marquees. And oh, we've, it goes sort of ready, hot, pinky colour, those, I love those. And then we've lovely got aqua in your marquees. And then we've got aqua in the little blue rounds there as well. So look at that colour palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Those leaves are going to be so pretty in that colour. Really loving this. I'm loving the idea of putting these on a wedding album though. So my initial thought was to do it for my nephew and his new beautiful wife, uh, so my new niece, um, and just put the details on there. As I say, I've got some peel-off stickers I tend to use. If you've got better handwriting than me, then you could maybe use a, a, a gold or a silver paint marker or something like that would write, write on your canvas um, or a permanent marker. But my handwriting is absolutely appalling. So it's not something that I would be able to do. I have to go to other means so that it doesn't look like a spider's just crawled across the corner. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's have a look what's in the box. And this is another brand new... This is another brand new product that's just come out. Oh, I'm loving all the new stuff that's coming out. Go and check out uh, the Easter range at Fan Cells as well there. I've got some fantastic cute stuff and everything so yeah if you like decorating for easter then uh, there's lots of things and valentine's as well uh, but yeah i love easter i've got my easter tree already <laughs> okay let's have a look at this one what did we get what did we get oh look at this wow loving this okay so i think you can guess we've got our stand there and look at that that is fab oh wow look at the colors on it okay standard pen butt and wax and we've got one of the lovely new thicker um stands so you're not having to have two stands and stick them together we now just get the one clear stand it has a dust cover on both sides so just peel that dust cover off once you're ready to use it and it will be completely clear underneath so that's wonderful but look at this it's a huge cupcake <gasps> couldn't you just sink your teeth into one that size actually no i'd have to have a spoon <laughs> I know you can get big cupcakes now, don't you? And a lot of cake makers um, do do big cupcakes and there will actually be cake inside that as well. I mean, can you imagine all the icing? It would just be so sweet. It's a lovely thought having that amount of icing. Yeah, I think it would take some eating, but oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And what I've got this for, again, I'm back on my not just using it as is, not just using it as an ornament. This will actually go as a card gift for somebody. So rather than buying a um, buying a birthday card, then this will actually go to them as a card. Uh, and it's just something that they can bring out each year if they want to do or, you know, just keep as an ornament. And I think the colours on this are superb. So it's only got a one candle, so you can use it for any age. I mean, obviously, you could use it for a first birthday for somebody or a first anniversary or something. Um, but, yeah, I just thought, oh, well, it's just a generic, you know. And, uh, yeah, you could use it for anybody. But I just, I'm just loving all these ornament ones that are coming out. This is an acrylic one, and the box has done its job because it's come all in one piece. It's come a long, long way. Again, it does have a dust cover on the back. So once it is diamond painted, it will be completely clear. So it will look like these are floating. It won't look as though there's like the um, opaque covering on it. It will look like these, all the gems around the edges are just floating there. And then you will just stand it in its little stand. Let me just have a look. Yep. Yeah. It's got, because it's still got the cover on it, sometimes they just need a little bit more um, pressure to pop them in. Once it's diamond painted, if you are giving this as a present um, or using it as an ornament that people are likely to pick up, because it's one of those things that people will walk past and pick it up and say, oh, that's nice, let me have a look. <laughs> I would seal it, put a sealer on it. Um, just to make sure that uh, the gems don't move or anything so then it will just go into your stand but you don't want it too slack in your stand because otherwise if somebody does pick it up the bottom will drop off all the time and that'll drive you nuts as well or maybe just me <laughs> let's take it back out of the stand pop that over there oh this is absolutely look at that though i mean it's a gorgeous cupcake look it's got this gorgeous green case and then this lovely hot pink bow and all these like baubles around it so i wonder if these are like sweets you know like bonbons and things and then we've got some little flowers and you can get edible flowers and then all little hearts like hundreds and thousands all over it so very very pretty love it okay let's give it a quick measure with my new tape measure so we are about 24-ish centimetres at its widest point, which is about nine and a half inches. And then the width, sorry, the height of it is uh, again about nine and a half uh, inches, which is 24 centimetres. So it's practically a square. So it's sort of a squarish shape, just with a little bit of a cutout going around it as well. 
but yeah i mean I'm, I'm just loving the idea of sending things that people can keep so you're sending somebody a keepsake rather than just a card and the price of this one is a seven pound 99 so yeah great value for money and something that people can bring out year after year I mean, it's quite nice, actually, if you're doing like a, a birthday table to have this as like a decoration on the table as well. You know, maybe put somewhere near the cupcakes and have all little cupcakes around it if you're doing a birthday cake. And if you get one of those battery operated tea lights, then you could, if you stand a tea light around it, it will actually glow a little bit as well behind it. It'll make all the gems sparkle. Woo! <laughs> So, yeah, as I say, you can easily pay uh, seven, six or seven pound for a card these days. Right, let's see what gems we've got. Ooh, in two bits. Lots of specials. Ooh, oh, look. It's a definite Liz canvas. It's a definite Liz unboxing. We're starting off with a hot pink crystal. Yay! And then we've got a honey gold and a lovely limey green and a lovely warm orange there and a little bit paler hot pink <laughs> and a little bit of a plain crystal <gasps> look at that that's like a jadey green color that's super I like that one and a little bit of a purpley lilac color oh look at those they're different so they're like um a a pink and then they've got an iridescent coating over the top with a little star stamped into them so i've had the uh the like pearly colored ones i don't know if i've had the pink before so ooh, like getting new gems and then we've got some semi spheres in this like limey green color so they've no facets on them there very pretty and then oh wow okay we've got some marquees with an iridescent coating on uh, and then we've got some blue semispheres with an iridescent coating on. And then we've lots of little purple flowers. Look, oh, they're pretty. What I tend to do when I get these um, flowers is actually put a silver gem in the middle. Uh, yeah, I, I just put a little bit of glue in the middle and just put a little silver gem in there just to make the flower a little bit more flowery. Uh, it's something that I've always done from like my card making days. Um, it's, it looks fine without, but I like to just put a little sparkly gem just in the middle, just to add that little bit extra. I've always been a bit extra, what can I say? <laughs> right, so E is actually, oh look, going on the bow, so the bow's got little flowers on it. And then just here, look, we've got bows as well. So we've got plenty of spares, so we only need four and we've got seven. Yay, I like spares. Let's have a look then. What was the other funny, the, what was the other new one we got? These pink ones, where do they go? So that's the letter A. So where is the letter A? Uh, can I, oh look, we've got, oh right. So they're like the little um, hundreds and thousands, the little crystals and things, look, the little sweets that are all around it. And then, oh, all around this little flower. Oh, and there as well. Oh, so there's quite a few A's on it. Excellent. I think we can see where the C's go. Look, the marquees are all on the leaves. Um, and then the green ones. What letter are they? B. Oh, and then B are all the other little uh, like gems all the way around as well, like little berries. Oh, excellent. Oh, loving this. Right, so yes, and I have got somebody in mind that this will go as their birthday card gift or gift card. No, you can't really say gift card, can you? Because they're them little plastic things that have money on. You wouldn't be able to put one of these through the machine, would you? <laughs> oh dear, great fun. Don't ever ask me how my mind works, because if I ever find out, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay so huge thank you fan cells for sending me these they're absolutely fantastic blown away i've got so many ideas for these and as i say i always have uh, lots of ideas for my ornaments that do tend to all just disappear out of the house and go as gifts uh, just as uh, an interest for you 
all of these items that I've got were just over £18. So, you know, great value for money if you are looking to get some new things, some new trays and things for your diamond painting. So we started off with our gorgeous place mats with all these beautiful lilies on. So I will get them sealed and we'll have another play, play with them as well once that is done. Okay, we then moved on to our new super trays, which, yeah, all, compartment, all compartmentalised. Oh, easy for you to say. Uh, yeah, in this gorgeous purple, as I say, lots of other colours as well. But yeah, loving those. I love the fact that you can use more than one colour and that they're stable and I'm not going to be able to knock them over quite as easily as I would with uh, having lots of little green trays or anything lying around. Okay, I've then got my exceptionally useful tape measure that then just goes whoop and disappears back in. <laughs> fantastic champagne bottle i say lots of different designs in this one so go and check those out and then this wonderful huge cupcake which is making me exceptionally hungry looking at it that's fab loving that really really great so yeah don't forget there is if you spend over 30 pounds you do get a free gift so it's always worth just checking out and um, that offer is on as i'm making the video so do just double check if you're watching this in the um couple of months time or whatever what offers are available okay well again huge thank you fan cells thank you for coming along and watching if you've enjoyed looking at these with me as much as i've enjoyed unboxing them then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can and if you want to join our little family and subscribe and see what we get up to next and if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.